Well, I think a lot of people are noticing that something seems to have flipped somewhat with Putin, almost, you know, as if he's made a rather emotional and um, on the surface uh, somewhat unexpected decision. Um, you know, he's usually pretty cynical and calculating and very calm, always very sarcastic and kind of harsh in the way that he talks about things. But the announcement that he was basically going to invade uh, Ukraine, he was viscerally emotional. And uh, I think that sort of drew my attention as did other people who've been watching for him a long time. And it was also this highly orchestrated event with his National Security Council that he pulled together. He made it very clear, just even by the way he was sitting, uh, the way that he was interacting with people, some of them were clearly somewhat off guard. Although we now know that it was actually taped several days before it was released as the announcement. But nonetheless, it looked like they weren't quite sure what was going to happen, which made it very clear that he's the guy in the driving seat, that he's made the decision. So if this turns out badly, it's very much on him. It'd be very hard for him to... Uh, blame anyone else uh, for the way that things go. And it's made it very clear that this is personal. So this isn't just, you know, the, the Russians deciding. In fact, it's not the Russians deciding at all, but it's Putin and a very small clique of people around him. And so I think that we have to, you know, fully process that. This is what happens if you've got the same person in power for 22 years who's been in a bubble, and especially over the last uh, two years, growing increasingly isolated, like most of us have done. But this is, seems to be um, an outgrowth of, of all of that. All of the feelings of emotion about Ukraine, about his sense of grievance about the United States and the West and NATO all seems to have bubbled up and brought us to this really dreadful point. Well, I think, unfortunately, his end game is to take control of all of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean that he's going to annex the whole country and absorb it into Russia, but he intends to have a government there, if, this is, if he can do it, uh, that he can uh, control. And I think we shouldn't be surprised if they do try to annex additional parts of Ukraine. He's already annexed the Crimean Peninsula, for example. So his end game is to make sure that Ukraine doesn't go anywhere. And, you know, if he can't control Ukraine by getting a government that he wants in, he clearly has shown us that he's determined to, to smash it, literally.